It is August 29th at 11.38 a.m. that I'm doing this. Yes, it is coffee, but it's got a bit of a twist to it. Um, I kept thinking, maybe it wasn't the coffee, maybe it was the heat that was messing with that hole in my stomach. So my sweetheart mixed coffee with milk and with a little sugar and chilled it, so I'm drinking iced coffee this morning. It's delicious and it is helping. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pour me a little more up. I really don't have anything special to talk about today. Um, being Saturday, which for me is the Sabbath, God's day of rest, and I said I'd go ahead and and uh, do a vlog and a podcast seven days a week, and I will. It's just a little bit of a, a push this morning. And I'll explain why it's a bit of a push for me to do anything. Um, I was up all night. I had a acid reflux come up, scald my throat, scald my mouth. I'd sit up, I'd drink water, lay down, and then I'd have to get up again with it. And it went on all night. And I got thinking, what was the common denominator? Why was I having that? Right now, I don't have acid reflux at all. As a matter of fact, I feel pretty good. I'm tired, but uh, the thing that was keeping me up was causing problems was hot coffee. Well, now I'm not going to be drinking hot coffee. I'm going to be drinking cold coffee. I hear the dogs out in the yard. Yep, 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 yep. Um, let me explain one more thing to you about my personal life. Um, sitting with my wife, we uh, had a talk this morning, which we try to at least once or twice a day. We miss just being able to do stuff, the two of us. I miss going out to eat. I miss going to movies. We do. We miss. We miss uh, going to church. We miss a lot of things. Why would I uh, bring that up? Well, it ties into my cheat sheet I've shown you before, right there. That's how I, I view things concerning COVID-19. Well, why is it that big of a worry to me? It's not really a worry because Linda and I aren't going to do anything to get us in a position that we're going to catch it. We don't go shopping together. We don't go to Walmart together. I especially worry about her. Um, about her getting it. Me, it'd probably kill me, but I would fight it the whole step of the way while it was in the process of taking my life. And yes, that's a rooster out in the chicken pen that way. Uh, <laughs> It, uh, and if you would, if you're watching this, reach down there and hit that subscribe button. Maybe give me a like. And folks, let me tell you something. Even those of you who have left the thumbs down, that's fine. It really is. Can't please everybody all the time. I'm going to get a sip. Then I'm going to just read the federal numbers that I believe are fairly accurate. In the United States, as of yesterday, we had 5,913,941 people that have tested positive for COVID-19. That's up 46,156 people. But here's the one that bothers me. 
we've had 181,800 people die from COVID-19. 181,000. And almost 182,000. Are these numbers accurate? Actually, I believe they are, and that bothers me greatly. Deaths that were not necessary, and no death is really necessary. Um, I was going to do a series, and still am going to do a series, as to what you can do to prepare for what's coming up. What's coming up, you ask? I will tell you. We are getting ready to have a major financial collapse here in the United States of America. I had also, while discussing things with my sweetheart in the parlor, the Amish won't even notice. They're a secularized people. They don't interact with the general public. Uh, they stay apart from the world. I don't believe there's been any cases of COVID-19 in any Amish community. They don't get out and go mingle with other people. It's kind of a standoffish thing, but it's part of their, their religious credo. But helping you get ready for a financial collapse, I will do that. I will script it and start writing down stuff so that I have an automatic page down there that I can tell you how to take care of yourself and your loved ones during what's coming up. Am I an expert in all this stuff? Even if I am not an expert, and in, incidentally I am qualified to uh, make the statements I'm making, but even if I weren't, and even if I am an expert, take any advice I give you, pray about it, make your decisions, nitpick it apart. I don't care. At least you're thinking about it and thinking about helping your loved ones survive. Well, folks, that's it for the program today, the vlogcast today. And remember one thing, be kind.